Hi guys, welcome to another review. Uh, this time I want to review uh, the movie American Hustle. I know it's a bit, it's a, it came out early, very long time ago in America, but in Malaysia it just came out. I saw it yesterday and um, it's a fantastic movie. Um, it's a fun movie, entertaining movie. Uh, the movie is about <coughs> uh, this con man who is played by Kristen Bale and his partner um, Amy Adams, the amazing Amy Adams and they uh, work, uh, They end up being caught by the FBI and they are forced to uh, work with the FBI to do this great uh, uh, entrapment job for the FBI and um, yeah, <coughs> Uh, the movie is entertaining because it has a 70s vibe even the title in the title in the music choice everything is very 70s vibe and it is an entertaining right I have to say um, because the script is just keep on going and the storyline is there's not a dull moment um, also in this movie is Jennifer Lawrence uh, and who's, who plays Michael I hope he is um, Kristen Bale's wife and then you also have um, Cooper I, I mean I forgot this guy name who plays in the Unforgiven uh, Unforgiven but who plays in the in the comedy guys ah man uh, Bradley Cooper I'm sorry Bradley Cooper yeah so Bradley Cooper plays the FBI agent so uh the highlight of this movie is, to me, is Amy Adams. Amy Adams has a great year. I think last year she played in her a very messy look. She looks messy looking, and she plays also in Man of Steel. She plays a lot of great, great roles last year. Man of Steel. She was playing Louis Lane, and she has this very um, straight vibe to her. But in this movie in American Hustle I think the best player is the best character is uh, Amy Adams because she got to play a whole range of emotions uh, um, a whole range of it and she had even uh, even though she's she, the character that's, that's thrown to us is a very sexy character with very revealing dresses and stuff like that but you will end up liking her as a person because the character is about her as a person so you can see her without makeup a raw feeling that she's this messed up girl who's looking for love and and she's smart and at the same time <clears throat> you know wanting to be have a better life and getting involved with Kristen Bale and but Amy Adam is the is the is the is the player who puts who really made me like this movie because she's a range of emotions, angry, jealousy, a very realistic human feelings, you know, and uh, she saw it's one thing, you see, but she also saw that you know what this is not just that side of her. It's just she's also saying uh, the part when she's not without makeup, when she's so messed up, when she's so vulnerable and she's angry so you get the whole range of emotion with the Amy Adams character now Christian Bale to me is amazing here also but he plays he, he always plays subdued character I think I think it is it is his personal choice to do that in all his films even the Batman series he is not trying to he's I mean consciously trying to subdue this character and in this movie it's no different uh, but it's amazing the transformation that he goes through his looks and uh, etc and uh, he, he he did a good job here Bradley Cooper also the third player big player here um, trying to be have funny trying to do Bradley Cooper stuff to me nothing 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 big about his FBI character I mean to me it's just an annoying guy <laughs> um, but Jennifer Lawrence is a, is a surprise also 
which is a, in a good way a surprise because Jennifer Lawrence in this movie has to play a wife and a mother in the 70s. Now Jennifer Lawrence has this vibe. She's been cast like a teenager in the uh, Hunger Games. So, and then to see her in this role really is kind of a is a departure, which is good. So you get to see her crazy stuff, but you can also see her mature as an actor, as a person. She's a, a, a crazy lady lah here. Um, like I said, you uh, this movie is focusing on the characters and and the anchor to me is still to me is my favorite is Amy Adams lah, and it's a character movie rather than um, you know it's not an epic it's not an epic Hollywood uh, movie the the camera work is always almost uh, close up or mid range never never in from afar never from a wide angle. It's always close up and mid range, and I, I like that. I like the director. Director, it has been directed Three Kings, uh, Silver Lining Playbooks, and uh, it was getting better. Uh, I can't remember his name. Oh shit! Because I didn't like how he was doing in Three Kings because he got into fights and stuff, uh, with. He was abusing some of the uh, uh, stuff. I mean, a crew. So. I never liked that the director because of what happened on that set on Three Kings. But I do respect his maybe he grown up, he grows up, and he did all of these great, great, great movies recently that came up. So hopefully things are for the better. And I think people still want to people love to work with him because maybe he's a he's a good guy on set. Uh, I do love his previous movie, um, uh, Silver Linings Playbook. David David O'Reilly, oh man, I can't even remember the name of the director right now, but I'm doing a review of his movie. All I can say after, uh, in summary that the movie is fun, is um, not mind blowing, but it's entertaining. So that's my review for American Hustle, guys. Thank you for watching. <laughs>